Honorable uh, President of India, Honorable Srimati Sonia Gandhi, Honorable Prime Minister of India, and uh, distinguished dignitaries and friends. <coughs> Thank you for this singular honor. I humbly accept the Indira Gandhi Prize for Peace, Disarmament, and Development on behalf of the self-employed women of SEVA. Uh, this year, uh, SEVA is 40 years old. I am 80 years old. We are a sisterhood of 17 lakhs today. Our journey is long and perhaps endless. This prize has given honor to all working poor women and their leadership worldwide. These women who hold peace, who disarm violence and reduce poverty with their honest work. And therefore, it gives me a deep content to be here today. I still hope that someday they will hold central place in our economy. This Peace Prize gives us an opportunity to re-examine our ideas of what constitutes peace. Certainly, absence of war is not peace. Peace is what keeps war away, but it is more than that. Peace disarms and renders war useless. Peace is a condition enjoyed by a fair and fertile society. Peace is about restoring balance in society. Only then it is lasting peace. In my view, uh, restoration and reconstruction of a society are essential and key components of the peace process worldwide. If we look carefully at our world, we find that where there is unfair distribution of resources, there is unrest. Being one of the elders, I listened to Nelson Mandela, the dear Madiba, telling us frequently that money won't create success, but the freedom to make it will. True. In Gaza, the men and women said to me, without work we can neither forgive nor forget, because what have we to look forward to? In Sudanese camp, I heard refugees crying for work, not charity. After the earthquake in Kutch, when I visited the area, everywhere I went, the women who had lost everything said to me, when have you brought work? When Kamna laya? By work. I do not mean sweatshops and cheap labor in factories that leave a person a slave to yet another kind of exploitation. Treating land and forests and people and even work as a commodity cannot build a fuller human being, nor a holistic society. Such work strips them of the multifunctional, multicultural character of work that fosters a dynamic and organic growth in society. A woman who tends a small plot of land, grows vegetables, weaves cloth, and provides for the family and the market, while caring for the financial, social, educational, and emotional needs of her family, is, multi is multifunctional worker and the builder of a <coughs> uh, and the builder of a stable society one who labors long hours at a factory where he has no control of his work or his skills contributes one product to society whose work is measured and therefore uh, given greater credence by us while her work is unaccounted and ignored the use of word domestic in GDP should not be overlooked. It is the GDP at the household level that matters. P 
peace and development cannot be measured in numbers. I do hope that one day peace and development will shine on the, uh, will shine on the face of our land and the people and the world will enjoy the wisdom of my India. Thank you very much. <clears throat>